Hello friends, welcome once again to Saga's Online Mass. In this video, I'm going to provide a solution to this particular question on the board. Please, if this is your first time viewing, can you click up the follow button to enter and let them exciting video. You need to spy. Now, let's solve this simple, you know, definite word, integral. You know, this is definite, it's like, you know, in integration. If you're watching my previous videos that I've done, I told you guys I want to hear about integ uh, integration. The integration is a process of finding the antiderivatives of a function. Now, you know, we have definite integral and indefinite integral. In indefinite integral, you don't have your limit. You don't require limit. But in definite integral, you must have your upper and what your lower what limit. Now, this is your lower limit and this is your upper limit. Now, if you come across question like this, you know, that's why if you're watching my videos, you really understand uh, definite integral. Because when you want, you're going to solve this, your first step, you first of all, integrate that function. You know, integrate that function first. After integrating, then you can now put in your what? Your upper limit minus your what? Your lower limit. Now, let's do it together. Now, first of all, let's integrate this first. Now, if you integrate this, we have, if you integrate it, we have what? 3. S to the power of what two? No, no, no matter we are integrating with add plus one, you know this is integration divided by what two plus what one. But remember that our our boundary is what is from two to what to three. This is our what from lower limit to what upper limit. Don't forget, it's very important. Now this now this is what three s to the power of three. You can see divided by what three because two plus one is what three. Remember our boundary is from two to what. Three, don't forget it's very important now this will go at you can see so now this is what s to the power of three and our boundary is from what from two to what three now got in here no, you can see that we are already done with the integration we are already integrated this function so what are we going to do what we are going to do is to substitute your upper limit minus your what your lower limit it's very very important now let's do that so now this is what into our upper limit is three we we'll put in three in place of x close the parenthesis raise the power of what three minus our lower limit you know our lower limit here is two into what into what two to the power of what well, I said, three. you know you that's simple three to the power of three, three means three times three which is what which is 27 because three times three is what nine nine times three is what 27 so now what 27 you can see 27 minus then two raised to the power of three simply means two times two is what four four times two is what eight so now this is what eight you can see how simple it is then 27 minus eight is what is equals to what 19 and this is just a clear solution to this problem i know people will say ah sagas why why can't you just add plus c no not that this is what definite what integer this is not what indefinite what integer in indefinite integer you can add your plus constant c but in definite integer where you, you know you require your limit your upper your lower limit there's no you cannot introduce your constant c so remove this you know and this is just the answer to this particular question Thank you so much for watching this video. Please, if you find it very interesting, don't hesitate to like this video, comment on this video, and also share with others. I always say that share so that others will learn. Who knows who was finding who knows whether someone was finding this difficult? But the process of you sharing this video to them, they already transfer knowledge to them. So thank you so much for watching and God bless you.